my, my final set of questions, and that's on ERD. Uh, so, a bunch of these stocks are demonstrating uh, great client acquisition and good business, and uh, not not great margins, but improving margins, if you will. What do you think is the future here? So, see, ERD space is as big as technology services, uh, but the penetration of outsourcing or even offshore and offshoring in ERD is lesser than in IT services for the simple reason, what does ERD's companies do? They actually build the technology and core product of the company's cell, which is basically designing, you know, a, a autonomous car, electric car, designing, you know, you know, uh, you know, industrial products. So this is what companies consider extremely core to their expertise. But in the last few years, because of the fact that there's so much shortage of STEM talent in the Western world, including, you know, evolved economies like Japan, these companies have come under pressure to start looking at outsourcing and Indian vendors have significantly improved their capabilities. See, while, you know, if you know a certain computer languages, you can work in IT services, but in er &D, you need specific technical expertise. If you're a specialist in aero engines, it takes few years to get expertise to work on aero engines, you know? So that is a lot more domain specific, technical expertise led business. And that is why also clients, it's so critical to the client, this what they do. The clients are also very slow to outsource this business because they're not sure capability. But once they do that, the loyalty and you know the client retention is much, much stronger. At the same time, because this is CapEx or product development work for companies, this tends to be a lot more cyclical in its you know, approach. So you know, whenever you know economies get cyclical, so for example, a recession. Uh, or a deeper recession in US is more likely to impact ER and these companies, mm -hmm. you know, the overall outlook for spending than for IT services. At the same time, as I said, people may keep the level of spend and say, let's outsource and offshore this work to India and actually keep the level of activity as the same. So while we, it may be bad at overall spending level, it may not be very bad for Indian work companies. And Indian companies are significantly improve their capabilities. Over longer run, ER and should grow, outgrow faster than IT services, but it's going to be a little more volatile growth than IT services is. Okay.